I'm David Krentz, and uh, I was a character designer on the Walking with Dinosaurs movie. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw a Truodon. Truodon was this little crazy raptor-like dinosaur in the movie. So I'm going to start by drawing the basic shapes of a Truodon. They have a very long head, extremely large eyes, oval body, a long, relatively stiff tail, and a long S-curved neck, and like most fast-running dinosaurs, a pretty wide pelvis long skinny legs and the really neat thing about this dinosaur that really shows you its relationship to birds are the way that its arms uh, were constructed its wrist could fold back onto itself if you're eating a chicken wing right now take a good look at it. that's pretty much a truid on hand right there and they had three claws just like your chicken wing does the really cool thing about Truodon is it most likely had feathers. Lots of relatives that were found with feather impressions all the way around. And these weren't little feathers, they were quite large feathers. Sometimes on the bone itself there are little indications of larger quills that would attach to the edge of the arms. These weren't flight feathers. Flight feathers are generally asymmetrical, that is the vein of the feathers near the front. These feathers seem to just have the vein down the center. This is a uh, almost life-size skull of a Velociraptor. Truodon was a little more rounded, a little more tubular. And Truodon had an even larger eye socket that developed for vision at nighttime. If you looked at Truodon from head on, those eyes pointed forward the same way that ours do, indicating it was a pretty darn good hunter because it needed depth perception to navigate its environment very carefully while it was chasing or hunting down prey. So those are the basic shapes of this guy. What was really fun for me was uh, coming up with some poses that captured his personality because he is just sort of, sort of crazy and skittish. So I'm gonna do some fast gesture sketches. Uh, just invest very little time here to come up with a cool pose that I can draw this creature in. I think this is the one I'm gonna develop a little bit further. A tail can give you a lot of attitude in your drawings and in your gestures. Uh, in this case, I've chosen to kind of drop his tail down because he's been caught. Imagine a dog, he's happy and running around, his tail's wagging, and he does something bad and someone yells at him and Ew! his tail drops down in shame. Two main toes on the ground and the third claw, the sort of the killing claw, probably held aloft to keep it sharp. And there's actually some neat fossil trackways showing that as well, just these sort of two-toed tracks. We're entering an age now where we look at what is around the fossils instead of just the bones. Now they're going back into their collections and going, hmm, you know those marks we saw on the outside of those fossils collected a hundred years ago? Let's look at those again. And they take a look and they go, oh my gosh, those are fully formed wings on this dinosaur that we've known forever. It's going to be a really exciting time in dinosaur science in the next 10 years. So I'm pretty happy with his drawing. So that's our Truodon.